vegan for one reason and one reason only, for the animals. There's no other reason to be a vegan. A vegan is an ethical lifestyle choice which seeks to exclude as far as possible any exploitation or cruelty to animals. It's not a cleanse, it's not a diet, it's not the trend of the moment. It's standing up and saying, I am not gonna be a part of this and I never will. Because the reason we became vegan was because we saw something we didn't like. So nothing should ever change that. And our commitment to this lifestyle should be stronger and stronger. And you should do whatever is possible to make it your resolve. I am vegan for one reason only, for the animals. Once we know better, we do better. In I'm vegan, soy vegana. As a medical doctor, I care about life in all ways, shapes or forms. Science has been proving over and over again that a well-planned vegan lifestyle is suitable, optimal and healthy for all humanity in all stages of development. If adopting a vegan diet is helping us humans to prevent and reverse diseases and saving human lives, and on the top of that, by going vegan, we are preventing the death and suffering of millions of innocent animals, I don't see why anyone will not consider veganism as a lifestyle. because I recognize the fact that the animals we treat like objects are not, in fact, objects. And I cannot, in my right mind, unrecognize that fact. They are someone, not something. 
In 2013, I watched a documentary called Earthlings and I learnt the harsh reality and the atrocities that go on in factory farming. Hey, what's happening? My name is Ted Carr and I am vegan for one reason and one reason only and that reason is the animals. All the other reasons for being vegan are fantastic as well, like for the environment and for our health. But the main reason I'm vegan, pretty much the only reason I'm vegan, is for the animals. Because no matter how many other things in my life change, like my desires, my outlooks, and my, my current living situation, and no matter how many other new technologies come out in the future, the one thing that will not change is the fact that animals must be slaughtered in order for me to consume them. And I don't want any part in contributing to the mass slaughter, even the, even not even the mass slaughter, even just the small scale slaughter, even the backyard farming. I do not want to contribute to animal cruelty in any way, shape or form. I learned that billions and billions and billions of animals are enslaved, tortured and prematurely killed simply to go on our plate. My I am vegan because it's not about me. It's not about my life, my health or personal beliefs. It's caring about the lives of others, and that includes animal lives. My first reaction was, but this couldn't happen in Australia. Sadly, when I allowed myself to open my eyes and to see the truth, I realised it happened in Australia and the rest of the world. My name is Lissa, and I am a vegan. I choose to be a vegan because I believe that all sentient beings deserve to live their life out on this world just as we all do. I believe that we no longer live as our ancestors did and the technology exists, the opportunity, the abundance and the resources are there for me not to choose to consume animals or their products. I'm really Millie and I'm vegan. Why? I'm vegan for the animals and I'm vegan for our planet and I'm also vegan for my mental health and my health in general. I am vegan because I am a mother. I remember the first time I watched footage of a mother cow chasing after her baby. The calf was stolen from her hours after giving birth because it was a male. And males are of no use to the dairy industry. He was placed on a truck, the back of a ute, and she ran and ran after that calf. And as the calf finally drove out, she screamed and she screamed. And this went on for days, grieving for her baby. We are vegan because we want our kids to have an awesome future on this planet. Getting animals and their byproducts is a leading cause of climate change. And by going vegan, you can greatly reduce your carbon footprint. We are vegan because we align our actions with our values. We will not support the industry that promotes murder, rape, and kidnapping of these innocent animals. We are vegan because we put ourselves in the place of these animals. I know I wouldn't want my baby ripped from my arms at birth and then forced to create and produce milk for another species. And I would not want to be put in a cage cramped up where I can't even stretch my body at all just because of human's greed. We know we do not want these things to happen to us, so we are not going to support them happening to another species.
Kara. I have been an ethical vegan for the past 11 years, and yes, I am still vegan. When I found veganism, I was not looking for a new set of ethical values at all. Actually, at the time, I was looking for a new diet to follow so that I could lose weight. And I was really surprised when I read a book and found out how animals were treated in factory farms, mostly because I wasn't expecting it. But I was so shocked and horrified that I didn't know how to live with what I had learned. And I knew right from that moment that I could never contribute to that kind of suffering or cruelty ever again. And My first reaction was, wow. What is wrong with us as human beings that we can accept this and think that's okay? They are living beings and just like you or I or any other mother out there loves our babies, they love their babies too. They want to love and nurture and care for their baby as a natural instinct every mother has. I have watched footage of pigs trying to nurture her little piglets, but she's so crammed in to a cage, she struggles to get to them. So many piglets die. A lot are just left dead and she's sitting there, lying there, should I add, looking at her dead baby. Not even cleaned up and then it's just disposed of as waste. It's all part of the industry. I know that billions and billions and billions of male chicks are grinded up every single day because they're of no use to the egg industry. I'm a mother and I can't imagine how I would feel if this was me. So I'm not prepared to do this to another living being. What's up you guys? I'm Ron Addy Nate and I am vegan because once I learned what was happening to these animals that I was purchasing to put on my plate, there was no longer any way that I was gonna be able to go back to sleep. We vote with our dollars, and these companies wanna give us what we vote for. And what we're doing to our planet and what we're doing to these animals is just unfathomable. There's no way that I have a clean conscience knowing that I'm voting for these kind of things. These are the destruction of what this place is called home. These animals do not deserve the life that they're living to be forced bred to feed us. There's always, always an answer in the plant kingdom. I am vegan because as a consumer, I have the right to close my purse. I'm well aware when your eyes aren't open, you go through the shopping mall and there's animal products everywhere, but you don't call them animal products. It's food and you think of it as food. They're in pretty little cans with lovely little pictures, lovely um, packaging put in the freezer, labeled as nuggets or supreme beef sausages or whatever else they're labelled at or put in the freezer uh, refrigerator with a nice sticker on it and a lovely recipe and a photo of your favourite comfort meal. I understand. I am vegan. I am vegan for the animals. I cannot bear the thought of my lifestyle choices being dependent upon the enslavement, torture or suffering of other innocent animals. Animals have just as much of a right to exist peacefully as I do. I will continue speaking out against injustice, exploitation, and cruelty for the rest of my life. I understand how hard it is to make that connection. But when you make that connection, you make that commitment to living this way for life. Vegan. I am vegan for ethical reasons. I believe that all animals are sacred and that they are deserving our respect and reverence. It's the most compassionate way to live and I don't believe that animals are here for us, but we are here to be stewards for them. Veganism is an ethical lifestyle choice. It's a choice to stand up and say, not in my name. I will not be a part of this. 
it's standing up and saying as much as possible that I can actually do this, I will avoid all animal products. I am vegan for the animals, for the environment, and for my health. Back six years ago when I was living my more brainwashed existence, I would have never ever considered giving up animal products in my diet. But I signed up for a cleanse at my gym not realizing that that's what they were going to require me to do. But at that point I was already committed and being a girl who always follows through on her commitments, I decided to see it through. And I am so glad I did because it changed my life. Within days, I felt amazing. I had energy, my stomach was comfortable, and I knew right then I could never go back. So it started out selfish for me. It was all about me and the way I felt. I lost weight, my cholesterol and overall health improved, and I was very self-centered in my view of why I wanted to eat vegan. But over the last six years, my reasons for eating this way have changed. They've evolved and grown. I've learned about the environmental impact of being a vegan, and I've learned the scary truth and reality behind factory farms and industries like the dairy industry, and I am not okay with it. I am healthy on a plant-based diet. There's nothing that my body can't get living this way. So why would I choose to be part of an industry that is cold and callous? The V, the v stands for vitality. And what I mean by vitality is having clarity of mind, strength in your body, and having a loving spirit. And what you have by For me, I am strong. I am healthy. I am compassionate. I am love. I am vegan.